Good. We have sound again, everyone. Yes. We have sound again. Thank you very much for the follow there. I'm just going to mute this, the following sounds. This is what happens when we go straight to a video. I apologize. Frantic, frantic, frantic. Okay, so you are gold four. Um, yeah. Yeah, we have game sound. It's amazing, right? Um, what were you last year mm. for the chat? Gold. Gold. And what, what, what you want platinum? Is that it? I want diamond. I mean, it might you be want a bit diamond. Of okay. Run. Okay. So yeah, the stretch yeah, goal is diamond. Is the stretch goal diamond this season, or sort of within a certain period of time, or is it just whenever? It is. It is this season, but it's like it's like an unrealistic expectation. You know, the the goal is diamond in general, but I would like to hit it this season. Okay. Good. So as always, um, stretch goal is good and realistic goal. So the realistic goal will be platform. Mm. Um, you were a little late to start there. I'm assuming that's an aberration, and you're usually on time. Um, yeah. Yes. I think... Shall I? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I, I was in the I was in the chat, but I'm not sure if I was late to stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I meant in the game, not in the stream. <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. You, were, you were chilling in the base a bit. You were too too chill, fam. Okay. Yeah, so no, I think I was tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. What's it your What's your early game plan as Rexus? And normally, um, AFQ viewer, um, thank you. Um, What's your usual game plan for Rexa? And I'm going to go into a lot of things about Rexa, because as most people know, that's what, she's one of my mains. I used her in Hilo. Um But in gold and platinum can be difficult, so I suppose that's kind of the, some of the things we're going to be looking at. What's your game plan? So it kind of depends. Against Narciss, I'm pretty sure I, I, I want to go into like a red grump, well, red, blue grump, sorry, and then gank Narciss, because he, I think, yeah, he doesn't have flash in his game, and that's kind of like a turn on for me. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes I'll go, yeah, like I do this clear today. I, I had it both in my head. I kind of wanted to play around a rumble maybe. Um, okay. But yeah, so I, I mix around with either red, blue grump or, or I do a level three clear on the red side of the map. Yeah, the old school season nine approach, it does still work. I do like it. Um, yeah, he doesn't have chroma, but we won't hold that against him. I mean, he should really be pink, but you know, what can we do? Um, yeah. You're being flanked for that of all things. So here, a little trick, it's, it's, you know, some Rek'Sai don't do it, I like to do it. I like to cue the baby and knock up the baby in isolation. Right? Okay. That makes um, sense. When you get there, because you only knock up the baby, you get a cue proc. Your cue proc should kill it within two, you have a third one to use on the big, and now you have, um, and you should be able to kill the small, the, the babies as well, and now you can go back, burrow, and then knock up the big one. Right? So here, what yeah. you're doing is you're actually... You knock up the baby, but you focus the big. Um, and you're tanking both. And I can see you're, you're doing the, the juggle trick, of course. I mean, that, that that's fine. But you should have at least 75% HP on the first clear if you um, actually hit this baby. Pull it out. Knock it up. QQ. Should fall out. Um, you will have the two tiny dudes. You can re-burrow and then knock up the big one. Once you proc your Q again, um, unburrowed form, then you should be able to kill everyone. You have much more HP. Hmm. Where, where do you normally smite? Do you smite the big the big one? I didn't. I don't normally smite the crux. Good, 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 good. good. I see way too many Rek'Sai's um, smiting crux. Rek'Sai's don't smite crux. Hey, you botlane did good things. Sometimes I'll smite raptors, sometimes I'll smite... It just, um, I like to smite the grump at the end. Um, I don't really have a preference wherever I feel like it, because my clear is kind of bad, as, as you can see. So. Yeah, that's why I told you that. I, I could see already your HP being half before the, the one of them was dead means you're kind of screwed in that in that department. Yeah, um, um, Shin's top, I think I go blue. Yeah. Okay, let's see. But this might be risky, because I didn't really check whether the enemy team... I don't know whether they warded, basically. Okay, so we're going... Have... Well, that, that's that's interesting. So let, let's slap on the enemy vision. Uh, it's, it's gold, you're trying to get plat, they won't have this vision. This is why high yellow junglers will place that early vision and then swap to red trinket, because now you can use it for your whole duration. And you'll you'll have an indication of when and where you were seen. That's, that's the benefit. Um... But I think in this case, having that bad clear, or so, it's not bad, let's just say inefficient, kind of mm. gives you the time to regenerate with red buff and burrow. So I think here, right, so the read, obviously we can see what's happening on the map, but what's your reasoning for, for, for ditching so soon? Hey, what, for ditching? What, 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 you took the blue, now what do you want to do? Because obviously your early game plan was um, altered by his invade, which is part of jungling, right? You have to adapt. So what, what do you want to go, what do you want to do from here? Well, I'm thinking about, so where, like, on one side of the, I'm um, sorry, in my brain, like, I know Xin Zhao probably wants to invade me now, or gank again, so I probably want to stay on this side of the map, or rush to my blue side, um, 
at the same time, like while I'm doing this, mm -hmm. I want to be looking at my lanes exactly. and deciding to gank. So like Rumble's gankable, he looks like on the mini map, but yep. I can't remember off by heart where I went. <laughs> but, well, that's um, good. That's good. I like I it when you don't remember. Rumble. Yeah, yeah. If you don't remember, it's good because when I ask you what your game plan is, it forces you to think about what you were <laughs> thinking. I mean, it's very easy to talk about what I think someone was thinking in high elo because uh, there's a way of playing. But in mm. these kind of games, it's very interesting to see because obviously uh, you say it properly, but I, I can't say his. I think I get it. Like, I can't say his name properly in the flow of speaking, so I have to just oh. be a, a bit of a pleb with how I say it. Yeah. Um, the E's that. good. Yeah, I got the rumble. Okay, so we flash. He flashes. We should still get. We should still yeah, get a few proc here. Okay, he has Nimbus cloak. There you go. That's fine. That's good. Okay. Obviously, um. The flash W knock up is important, and you've gone. We didn't look at it, but you've gone conqueror. So for conqueror, um, you know the uh, concept of knock up auto before you Q. Like once mm. you knock someone up, you auto attack while it's in the air, and then you can do your Q to, to cancel. That's because you don't have the hail of blades. Hail of blades I like better early game because when you flash W, you just go straight into your Q. There's no orders. Yeah. Just flash W Q Q Q, and you stack it so quickly because of the hail of blades. You get more fury. That's why it's better early game. But because you have Conqueror, he flashed out, obviously. Um, we'll look at it when you do clears. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. It's just throwing in that order. Okay, so here we want to leave. Um, so what you could do is actually help us shove. But let's let's see what you do. Okay. We go to this. That's nice. That's nice. Where do you think Zin is right now? He should be, like... The other side of the map. He should be recalled right now on the other side of the map. We're heading to the other side of the map, I think. Boy, he didn't it's recall. Like... He didn't recall, but he did red, gank for kill, into blue, and then <laughs> cheeky walk all the way across. So this this is really bad from him. Um, but obviously we have to prepare for the, you know, the, the randomness of, of the people you're playing against. I don't know why he yeah. would have done that. He didn't even take your Grom. He mm. just ditched, but that's fine. We can only go I, by what you have. I thought about trying something there, and then I decided that it's too pushed. So, like, it's the thing I do often is I, I start doing stuff, and mm -hmm. then I'm like, wait a minute, this is a bad idea, and I've already lost time in my decisiveness. Yeah, exactly. But I don't think I mean there it was a little bit. I mean, this is normal. You'll see this in high. Just a little pro. I mean, it's not ideal. You should say right. I can see already. I'm not going to gank this. But I think what you see is low HP. Low HP. Maybe. Maybe we can do something, but it's, you know, he has Ignite. I, yeah, I agree. I agree. This this is too costly for you right now. Mm -hmm. So here, what I mean by having Conqueror is once you, um, okay, I don't, yeah, to get Vision. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So you can knock up and then order. Hey, you do it. There you go. Knock up, order, then Q. That's good. It's fine. Sometimes I miss it. It's probably like, honestly, if I do it, it's probably not intentional. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I should Q's down, right? <laughs> yeah. I think, um, now that you've said it though, I should definitely be more conscious about it and trying to do it. Did you? Well, did maybe you... it is intentional. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> well, now you are conscious of it. Every time you do it will be intentional. Um, exactly. Yeah. Did you notice the good... This is good. I didn't touch on this when you did it. Only because... Um, only because I knew it would come up later. You see that no one pings us. I'm watching. Okay, let's see. Z Zin, we saw some wolves. You're on the Grom. We see Zin go down to his Grom. Not one ping. No one. No one in the entire map on your team pings out that he's a Grump right now. I feel this yes. is a gross violation. Uh, did so you I see should him? be spam ping me. Yeah, yes, I think I'm yeah, yeah, 9th yeah. I saw him. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you I saw it, I mean, the thing is, I don't assume you don't see it. I assume you saw it and just sort of processed the information and said, yeah. nice. Good ward. I'm, you know, <laughs> pat on the back. Trophy to me for good vision. Um, yeah. But your team, as I, as, as I just said, they don't see this in gold and platinum. They don't see it. They are unaware that the Zen is here. Now, what I'm thinking, if I see this happen, right, as in your case, I see 12 CS going down from wolves to this. That immediately tells me he did red, gank, my blue, because of course your blue was gone, and must have done wolves. There's no ways he does... Uh, the AOE camps as in while being that HP and within his process. So I can tell you already exactly what camps he's done. And after he's done this, he's most likely going to take the bottom scuttle. 
So mm -hmm. this, I think, is very crucial for you if you want to play Rek'Sai um, early game. Communicating this to your laners. Let's see okay. what happens. Just danger pings. Danger pings, yes. Because your lane, see now, the, fortunately, you're, you're, you're in this lucky situation. Okay, we're going B. We have uh, 1100 gold, so that's fine. Wipe as well as, uh, yep. Control ward, very nice. There we go. See it? Right there. Right there. So, from my point of view, as a jungler, I see my lane is being pushed in. They kill the ADC, but they have a nice cannon wave against them. And this, I talked about this in the video I just released on YouTube, and I said I'm, I'm going to rant about this in the gameplay channel. Mm -hmm. Guys, I will at some point rant about this heavily. They are now going to try and automatically shove this without thinking about anything else. Now, we're not talking about, about lane management, but because you knew that Zin was here and here, most likely looking to do this, the secondary option he had was a nice cheeky lane gank on the bottom side because they're pushed in and you have no vision and you can see you have no vision. As we see, hello, there he is. You see? Hmm. So imagine now, um, the danger pings, maybe they work, maybe they don't. But I think in this case, you are not in position to contest, right? You have to go back, you have to reset. But at least pinging your team, danger, be careful of lane ganks, be careful of river ganks, just so they know. Even type it, Zin's bot side, please back, or something like that. They might not listen to you. Hmm. But yeah. if they do listen to you, they don't die. And that's that's the point I try to get across. See here, I told you, they're just going to shove the cannon wave. There you go. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's, Pepega. It's, it's, it's so Pepega. It's, yeah. it's so easily avoidable. Because you placed a good vision. I mean, the Kai'Sa has TP. Don't run TP in gold, guys. No oh. offense. Just don't yeah. do it. The, the, the combat sums of heal, of exhaust, of ignite, or whatever you want, cleanse, is so much more useful than TP. Because you're not going to understand how to manipulate the waves to get good advantages out of it. So, that's jungling from his perspective. Now, obviously, that means no uh, Scuttlecrab bottom side. You obviously saw that happen. What's your plan now? Because, obviously, there's a fed Zin, so you're a bit annoyed. Yeah, I'm a bit tilted at this point. Um, I know that... Chill fan. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, get the, I get the intent that I'm going to lose control of my bot side of the map. Okay. So, I start forgetting about... like not well, I consciously forget about Dragon, if that makes sense. Like, I'm mm -hmm. like, Shin, Shin's got control of the side of the map. Rumble's roaming down bot side. There's, I might be able to solo dragon occasionally, but for the most part, I don't have dragon control. Um, so I just kind of want to path upwards to you, Narsus. Okay. Narsus, I don't know how to say it. Nah, Narsus, Narsus, yeah. Narsus. Yeah. Uh, Susan, Doge, Susan, Lord Kane, Doge. whatever, as you wish. Um, I don't know if he's capable at this point of doing dragon. Most likely in this case, he has to reset. If he doesn't reset, you win the 1v1. I would assume, given your items. Um, or, hmm. I mean, he's quite strong early, but you have a Stalker's Blade plus a Longsword that should add up to something. But I don't think he's going to try and sneak this dragon. Also worth noting, I don't know how often you pay attention to this sort of stuff, but the Zyra stayed a lot longer to punish your bot lane for being stupid. Yes? Mm -hmm. This yeah, means I now she has to go back yeah. to base. Which means Ezreal is sitting all by himself at 1 and 2. That's something that you could gank. And you could gank for it by using nice cheeky pathing, right? Um, you know this is probably warded on the, tree, on, the, on, the, on the side bush, but you can always go over, walk all the way around, um, and see what you have. If you have a scanner up, place a control ward, see what vision is there. And then if there's nothing, nice little ward down the bottom. Um, sorry, E, E over the wall here. Because he has no flash, so he'll heal, he's by himself. So mm -hmm. I think you should look, if you if you told me, okay, I'm looking to go bottom to top to punish Nasus. However, right in front of you is the ability to gank an ADC whose support literally just went back. Yeah. And um, we don't, I mean, the fancy idea of walking all the way around to avoid the vision is well and good. But I mean, look, they have a ward here that's about to die out. I don't know. I think I probe. I think I probe for this. In this case, I think, you know, this vision, you're not going to be able to get away with it, right? Obviously, because they have total uh, vision lockdown, but it's an idea. The fact that you immediately went top top lane without thinking about, hey, Ezreal's by himself and you have a 2v1, something to, uh, to, to think about, right? Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. 
And also, again, remember, um, I talk about this a lot. This guy most likely is going back. What can I do while he's off the map? I think I do. Um, you do a, I do you, a you, really you, bad... Yeah, this... this you do yeah, a thing. That's... You do a thing. <laughs> this is one of those, like... I knew it was bad while I was doing it, and mm -hmm. then it happened, and I was like, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, exactly. So, you've you've adjusted. Your your mid laner goes and does what you want to do. You know what I'm doing right now? What? I'm doing the dragon. Okay. I'm yeah, doing the dragon. Actually, yeah. You yeah. could hop over the wall, and the, the crab wouldn't find you. To see. You crab wouldn't. Whatever. Nothing would see you. You can you can literally uh, hit the plant. Actually, you know, I wouldn't even hit the plant. I would just, uh, the plant, the you don't have a scan. I would have bought a scan if it was back, by the way. It's okay not to okay. bite early for the reasons I explained in, in previous coachings, just because in in your case, having that ward here, this one ward you placed could have saved your entire team. It gives, It's given you, it's still giving you information. Because you mm -hmm. saw him come down from this ward and he had uh, 12, now 16 CS when he ganked bottom lane, you know exactly what camps he's done. This means there's literally nothing on the bottom side for him to do. So once yeah. he goes back to base, if you were simply to cue the dragon over the wall, right? You do your Krugs, you loop around, right? Instead of going up, you loop around, you hit the dragon with your Q, and you know it's still up, and you know Zyra's back, and you know Zin's going topside. Free dragon. Totally free. Un uninhibited. No one's coming to you. No one will see you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think, I think... Um, Sorry, go ahead. Um, I have a question about yes. playing... The red, the sweeping lens. Um, in in this MMR specifically, um, I have an idea that, and it's probably wrong. That's why I'm asking. But like, if you just buy like the yellow trinkets and the and the control wards, you can place deep vision, and then I see where everyone is. Yes. Um, because in in a sense, I, am I, I don't know if I'm explaining this badly, but in in a sense, like denying vision doesn't feel as important because I don't feel as if people as bad as me are warding. Yes. Often. They are not, but at the same time, if you did what I told you, like, if, if you mm. see Zyra's back and you're like, okay, I'll go kill Ezreal, you would go over this, which was warded, and now he backs out, and you've just wasted 20 seconds. Mm. And now they know where okay. you are. Them knowing where you are doesn't help if you know where they are. Like, now everyone knows where everyone is. <laughs> you know, that, yeah. we want to remain hidden as junglers. Yeah. I mean, here in this case, if we look at it from their vision, right? Uh, red team's vision. Look at this. They spot you right here. This is why you die. Because of mm. this. Yeah, yeah. You don't need vision to know where Zinn is. I just, I, we just illustrated how you can track him. Tab, look at his CS. You saw him spot on. You know what he did. He went bottom lane. And, he, and you know he went back with um, a little bit of uh, like 16 CS. Or mm -hmm. sorry, a bit more CS because he pushed the wave. So there's no need for you to have the control wars anymore. Now you can track mm -hmm. him for the next three or four minutes without any vision whatsoever. And that's... The importance of jungle tracking, you see. For sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. That makes so now, sense, yeah. and here, I mean, what you're you're probing into the river, where they just got crab, where they just had control without hitting the plant. So the two schools of thought are: I wish to probe and look for a gank. Okay, well then you need to control vision, because you just committed this the the, the sin that you just wanted the sin to commit. <laughs> you walked over yeah. ward that they placed. Yeah. And in turn, Rumble is a strong champion. Yes. He, yeah. yeah, he's really a lot stronger than I. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Once he gets overheated. Chance. Yeah, no, no, no. You do not beat him. Not level 5. Okay, uh, make sure you wait on the edge of the steps. You're using a tunnel there. Okay. Right. So, that's, I think, three or four things that we could have worked on that already have gi would have given you a dragon plus extra leads. Okay. Yeah, but, I'd be really far ahead. Yeah, you would be. Uh, what happens now? Okay, so firstly, uh, you saw through vision that these two camps were down. If you were tracking them, which is something to do, you don't have to track them actively. So right, as Zin walks down from the wolves to the grump, the wolves are gone, add two minutes, you know approximately when it's going to respawn. You, uh, you know, run into Rumble, he burns you, tries to cook you, but you're a shark, so he doesn't. But what do we want to do now? What's your game plan now? Because your red's going to be up. What do you want to do? So, I'm still thinking about the top side of the map. I'm pretty sure, like, whenever I see the silver, what's it called, the symbol? I can't remember what the name of that is. Anyway, whatever, the, the, the silver symbol. I'm like, okay, my buff isn't spawning for ages. Oh, um, right, oh, the timer. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, the timer, timer. I don't know why I can... Anyway, um, when I see that, I'm like, it's going to take too long. So I, I still want to play towards the top side of the map, and then I see this happening, and I path through it. I'm pretty sure I, if I play it right, I can get two kills. And if they play it badly, I can get two kills. <laughs> this, yeah, this that was very mad. greedy. 
That was wait, very wait, greedy wait. by the this Zin, is, yeah. This is, this is amazing. This is my favorite thing in the world. Oh, I love it. <laughs> and now it's pushing back into your top lane. This is perfect. So here, I th well, the biggest thing I think what I see um, is is good reaction pathing, good reactive pathing. Um, it's the biggest problem in a lot of um, people in your ELO. They would say, oh, wolves. Ah, stupid top laner died. But what you see is you're clicking on the map. You see, ah, this dude is low. He might have passed. Ah, yeah. I see him. Okay, we don't get the knockup, but, you know, Conqueror. Stonks, and we kill the Doge. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, and now... <laughs> it's a lot of damage. Um, and now, of course, we kite the Grump. Oh, while falling. No bueno. That's fine, we go into the Crab, I like that. Okay, now... I think something happens here. Oh, never mind. Never yeah, mind. yeah, yeah, it does. We, okay, fine, fine, fine. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. He wants you to see the magnificence of his... Uh, oh. No, not really. Kind of, no. Yeah. Not revenge. Okay, so... I get re Oh no, I do get revenge. Yeah, you get revenge, but uh, it's because he he's arrogant. Yeah. His ult's up again. Calculated. No. So I have no idea what his cooldown is. I didn't even comprehend. I'll tell you right now, and you can add it to your knowledge. Okay. His cooldown of that ultimate, because you died to it before. You almost died to it again. Level 1 is 100 seconds only. Hmm. 100 okay. seconds. Rumble. No CDR. So, that's not what I want to talk about. That's good. You know, you, 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 sh you get to shut down and it works out for you. I mean, it's not, you know, results-based thinking. We don't like it. However, remember I said you could have done the, the dragon, right? Mm -hmm. uh, from there, you could have simply taken control, maybe gone back to base to, to get more items, and then headed to topside and had the exact same play as you did. Double kill top line. Now, imagine if you're taking that dragon. Hey, what's this spawning? Hello, my son. Baby yeah. Baron. This is good. Small. I think rotating here is good. I think trying to all in him is bad. I think just holding the wave is fine. Okay, yeah. just for total experience. Um, the alternative is simply just to go do the, do the rift herald. Oh, eight, I remember eight exactly what went through my head at this point as well. I, I thought I'm level seven. He's, he's level, level seven, seven, but he's got that an oblivion all him. He's got plus fifty yeah. magic pen already. Yeah, I didn't look at his like health. I didn't look at his. I didn't think about his ult, which now I know. But yeah. yeah. I mean, he greeted trying to get you, and you have conquer, so you healed yourself. But now again, right? You've given up prior on the herald. So I think simply wave clearing and helping push him away. Like, hey, I'm here. You need to leave. Zoe's coming back, and then heading up to the the herald will be very good. Let me ask you a question. Where is in? Yeah, at this point I have no idea. Well. Yeah. He, I mean, he could be literally anywhere in my mind. Like, obviously, if I'm not obviously, um, if I'm looking at the map right now, we can see that his bottom side is up. So I can, I can deduce that he's probably gonna be bot side. But I'm not sure. Did I see that when I was back in? <laughs> I'm glad you did. Just, <laughs> I'm glad you did just that. Um, <laughs> there he is. He's just top side. <laughs> well, you know, he, you know, he started red. So your red is spawned. His red is spawned. You killed him. He's not gonna be very concerned about going down for his blue side. This guy's, these people are focused on their buffs, he, especially these kind of players that want the red buff. So, what he does, okay, again, he ignores this. Look at this. Wait a second. What's he doing? What's he up to? He thinks he wants the crab. Okay, of course you took the crab. Why would you? Ext oh, no, you're, you're way better than these people. Don't worry about that. So this is, from the his perspective, this is silly. You kill him, he goes and takes red and then walks into this place, despite knowing that you went from crab to mid lane, having most likely taken it. So the nice thing is, and again, this is what I'm illustrating to you. The the Herald spawned at 8 minutes. Rek'Sai can very much do that without Stalkers. Just simply two long swords and Stalkers blade. Perfect. You don't need to finish Warrior. Um, and, the, and the Zin didn't even hit the plant. He didn't even probe any further. It didn't even cross his mind that you might be on it. And obviously you're very low, right? You, you were very low after your fight, so he's not going to assume you're on it anyway. But imagine if you were just sneaking this right now. Even if he even if he rotates, right, you would have been full HP, level seven, and I think you would have won that one if you won. Because you wouldn't have been six. Yeah, yeah because like, he... uh, crab means. Yeah. And you'd be close to finishing it anyway, it's 30 seconds now. Um But again, you know, that's that's fine. You gotta kill. Right? Let's see let's see what you do with it. You're three one one. Whoopsie. Where are you I going? Think I stay in base too long in this game. I'm not sure when it is, but at some point I stay way too long in base. Yeah, so, I mean, at this point, he's taking his whole red side. The, boof, there he goes. You see? I actually don't like this pathing. Just, like, uh, Your pathing? Or what now? When it's like 83 years too late, but I don't. I think it's too late, you know? What's um, too late? 
like pathing blue into. I think I path blue into Harold now, but I think that it's just like way too late. Yeah, you're, you're only doing it because you saw this in. But again, I mean that's fine. It's not bad. At the same time, you could be reacting to this. Mm. But I don't think you get there in time to turn the, the ties of the fight. That's when people people say, "Oh, we need to react. We need to react," and so on. Um, yes, but at the same time, I don't think you win it. Okay, so we get the hair. That's good. It's good. Come on, here we go. Autos, cues. Okay, come on. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I played. <laughs> okay, let's see that again. So yeah, how do I win this? I'm sure there is a way of me. How do you that, win this? I knew Rumble was coming, but I thought I could kill Narcissus quickly enough. You don't have Halo Blades. If you had Halo Blades, maybe. It's warded anyway. So the problem is, Maybe Garen has his ult up. Yeah, I pinged it. Okay, so you oh, knocked him is. up. You you knocked him up and you went straight into Q instead of auto attack. Yeah. That's first mistake. So auto attack mm -hmm. into Q gives you a sooner a sooner chomp, right? Um, whereas right now, you have you you cannot auto him and you cannot E him. Um, that's an order that you're missing. Now imagine if you had that order. He currently has 255. You have 166 damage, fully stacked Conqueror, one auto. Uh, you know, let's say you did at least half of that HP. Your ult yeah. should kill him. Yeah, but he has healed. And even if you don't kill him, because he healed on the Triumph, yeah. Um, yeah. that, that, this, this should kill him. Yeah. I mean, your Q's up. Like, your Q's up and you didn't use it immediately. You, you went for the auto. Yeah. So, yeah. like, that, that one, like, knock up, auto, Q, ult. Uh, if you can't E, of course, then you can E afterwards. E before the ult if you can. Um, I think you kill him. Like, the one order. But now now he got the healing back, right? Yeah. At the same time, let's see. So we Q. Ooh. It's so nasty watching him. Yeah. Now. I mean, it makes sense. Cause it's it's, it's, it's one does, order. But... It's one order. Yeah. It's one order. It's... Literally, that, that's it. Because you had fully set Conqueror. It's actually tragic. But yeah, I see, I see. It's enlightening. Yeah. Hmm. And then I need to get on that auto attack key wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Auto cancel. Yeah. You just do a Google on um, uh, Rexa auto cancels to give you everything you need to know. Okay, you flash the emote. Now this is a good roam by him. Very nice reaction. Uh, the, the 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 Garen is being slapped around here. He shouldn't be. He could have flashed away from the E. I think he should have had some kind of respect distance, or flashed towards him and just altered him. Like, the Garen misplayed it too, but of course, I mean, we're focusing on what you could have done about the situation. But again, I mean, that's that's a camp into a Herald, into a fight that you have to back from. Whereas before, you went Wolves into the top lane, got a double kill, did Skull, went mid lane, got a kill, but had to back. Like, you, you keep getting a kill, one camp and having to back. Kill, one camp having to back. So you're stifling, and of course, during that time, this guy took advantage of that and took the, the Drake. And that's why I think that Drake call earlier is so important, recognizing the distorted back timings between the ADC and the support, and the fact that Zin is no ways he's on the bottom side, gives you that sneaky dragon. Mm -hmm. I think instead of the, the forced gank on the rumble that got you your only death, that's um, straight up dragon. And I think that changes the nature of the game, because even if everything happens else exactly as it did, you're 3 0 1, and he can do nothing while you do Herald. He's got nothing. What's 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 he gonna do? Roma around the rivers, kind of jungle you? Okay, I'll I'll take all the objectives, you know. Yeah. yeah, I end up doing a. I think I'm pretty sure it's this game. I end up doing like a desperate, um, herald spawn thing to get plates, as opposed to because normally you should. I feel like you should wait till you get like two plates left so you can take out a tower. But um, I'm like I don't think that that that's gonna happen in this game. Yeah. So I I just spawn herald to take out the, the plates. I think that's fine. You got 11 minutes. Zoe is walking back to base. I think she forgot to buy. I think you could have activated it already. Um, but at the same time, oh, oh, you didn't mean here. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought you meant like no, right like, now you activated because it's like I Rumble's coming. Like so I pad around and I activated. Oh well, you still got three minutes. I think. I was, oh yeah, no. I yeah, think so maybe this is you're suffering. You you, you maybe think you're further behind than you are. I mean, you are quite far behind. But um, Zin is early. Nasus is mid game. Rumble is uh, early to mid game. Um, I mean, you get the plate golds. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. It's not. It's not That's the worst terrible. usage of Herald that I've seen. Again, this is nice. Um, control ward could have been left in place of it though. You know, hit the plant, deny the plant. 
See here, you don't even look for bottom lane. You don't have ultimate. There's no wave. Okay, good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's clean. Good. Okay. We loop all the way back around. I think out of all the, all the things you've done, I don't think this is uh, inherently incorrect or wrong, you know? Okay. It's it's a little desperate, but, you know, you come out, you take your red, you take your raptors, you see this is pushing, you shove it. Rumble comes back, to ba comes back from base. Now you know eventually, okay, this guy beats me. So we do a desperate fling just to get plates. Um, you could have taken his... You could have taken his um, wolves, huh? Because look, do it on the top side. Yeah. And if you, in this situation, you're Rek'Sai. You can get out of anything with E. So I think here you missed an opportunity to just to, to snipe, snipe some wolves. And if you did snipe the wolves, you might have even had the opportunity to look for a gank over the wall here. Because that time difference between doing the wolves is time for a wave to arrive. That wave is, of course, uh, dead now. But... I think you could be looking for something here. Yeah, I think I you am agree? looking for something. I am looking for something, but no, I don't I meant, I meant I before you go right. down. Yeah, I should have already been looking. Yeah, like so, so what you need to look for is in your power thing here, you, you went straight to red. Um, mm -hmm. You didn't camp sequence the Krugs and Raptors, I think, because you're looking mid lane. But you mean you go around, this is all very good. But here, you got to keep that jungle flow. Keep yeah. the action, everything needs to be purposeful. Right here, they're so pushed. Uh, Ezreal has no flash. Your ult isn't up. My only concern would be that, um, well, your Blitzcrank died. <laughs> this is before. <laughs> Twitch chat, this is before. Blitzcrank was alive. He was alive. Okay. <laughs> now we're coaching. He's talking. We're coaching. Um, see, so like right here, you've got this. Mm. It's more, it's more like, even if it wasn't possible, I just wanted to get the idea that you were thinking about it that's all yeah but i, I yeah yeah um I, I get what you mean i should have been looking um i just get too scared which is definitely bad i just it's like i lose faith in people and then i'm just like okay you're dead to me <laughs> it's not a healthy way of thinking about like my laners because i mean this is nice but you see the thing is this is very yeah. good like this again you you looked for it you waited for the wave you saw the blitzcrank was dead you knew they would collapse this is a good read um, but unfortunately, because you show, this dude's taking all your top sets. So he's doing to you what you should have done to him. Um, but you're still two levels up, huh? That, that's, that's all because of the plays you've been making. So the only thing here is that you miss your Q onto the Zyra, which would have, you know, killed her right here. And then you could both turn onto the Ezreal. It's a smiter. Uh, it didn't really make a difference, actually, but... Don't worry, I miss all my Qs as well, it's fine. Today was a big day for missing keys. That's fine. We have those days, right? Don't we, chat? We just miss <laughs> abilities. We get old, you know. Okay, so that's fine. Um, neutral wave. Okay. I probably would have just left it because now that baby's... But, uh, see, now you got... I mean, you've got this wave coming, cannon. You got this wave coming. Um, just be careful if you have too many here. Like, imagine if you had cleared that wave very quickly and there was, like, take two or three minions here. Now you're yeah, going to end up stacking that wave against your bot lane. So just yeah. be careful of that. You freeze on the wrong side. Yeah, yeah, it could have it could have pushed into you rather than against you. You yeah. know, like in th that case, if it was a few more minions, you actually kind of want to um, just touch shove it. But um, you'll see minion RNG does happen. Right. So from your perspective, you, you're you like 6-1-1. You've had some good reads, some good kills. You almost got the NASA's top lane. I think the only thing you've obviously missed was some counter jungling and that, that sneaky dragon. And, okay, you know, you got lucky with a kill and rumble, and, of course, ran into his face. What do you want to do now? It's 30 minutes in, your top lane is inting, what do you do? Um, so, I'm at the phase where I'm like, okay, it's almost like, for some reason, I think that 1 to 15 minutes is super crucial, and after that, it's like, I'm less useful. Um, and I don't know if that's true or not, or if it's just my mind, but I, I started thinking about what I can do for my team, as opposed to what I can do for myself. Because the first 15 minutes, I'm just selfish trying to get myself ahead to win the game. Yeah. Um, so now I'm looking around, I'm like, okay, Zoe isn't the worst person in the world. And Kaisa, if I get gold into Kaisa, that champion is good, theoretically. Yeah, <laughs> so but I'm like, she, okay, I gotta funnel these champions somehow. And then but she's like, rotating up here for some reason um, to deal with the Nasus. So yeah, there's a, I'm pretty sure there's a fight here that I thought Kaisa was with me and mm. Then she wasn't, and then everyone dies, and I'm like, well, okay. Well, you mustn't rely on that. So the thing is, I'm also going to bring up again the scanner. I mean, look at this. So in the game like this is where a scanner is very useful, because 
their deep vision of you is insane. This is very good. Like, the guy was smoked. It didn't really have the best game, but he did manage to pick up kills. He killed your top laner. He killed your bottom lane. He killed your mid laner. He got a dragon. He's left a whole bunch of deep vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and this deep vision now tells them everything that they need to know in crucial phases of the game. When you're trying to bait out dragon ticks, when you're trying to bait out herald ticks, and you don't mm -hmm. have a scanner, so you will never know. No. And that's, I mean, that's at this point, it's just so huge. You must have it. The Your team will keep vision down. You know, you have to keep yelling at them to do it, obviously. But it's now, at this point, having vision when you're behind is nice, but also denying vision. You, you need a bit of both, you know? A lot of people say, well, it's better to have vision when you're behind so you can see where they are. It's like, yeah, it's true, but we could do that with a side stun and a few control wards. Okay, so here we stall. I don't think the, the idea here is to fight the Nasus. No, this is this is you just tunnel visioning. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I, I'm, I'm like yeah, going yeah. in a desperation. Order, really. order, order, Q again. No, this is just totally desperate. No, no, like you, you don't beat him. You don't beat him. And now the Garen, point, the Garen's like, like I, I come, I'm helping. <laughs> yes, Demacia, Garen Vice. I don't okay. see him, but well, I probably did see him at some point leaving the lane, but I don't pay attention. He should get you with one more harpoon. Yep. Yeah, yeah he kills me. Okay, so the saving grace there is that you got two. The bad thing is you give shutdown to Rumble, and your team did rotate, and did she TP down bot? No, she didn't. She, she did. just walked, she just walked, she went up and then walked down, huh? Oh god, that's where she went. Oh, yeah, 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 she should have just gone straight bot, but yeah, that's, that's besides the point. So, okay, so those kind of fights I don't have an issue with in theory, because sometimes you need to force your team to react. The thing is, if your team doesn't there, you just look like a dodo, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're pinging I the flash. I figured that we could win if it was me, Garen, and Kaisa. Like you're having a good game, it's just that you, you were forced off of the map. I would put it this way. You missed a dragon that would give you total early game control. Yeah. You missed taking the Herald at its pinnacle spawn at 8 minutes, again, which dictates the pace of the map, because now it's like, oh crap, I'm losing all these objectives. Yeah. You put yourself in positions where you got kills or, or, or and almost died, so you're off the map a lot. For right? Sure. Because of those fights, you got a bit lucky and you got some because they were nice, but they were too close. And I think a little bit of it, a little bit of it is just a bit of mechanical, you know, auto, the auto attack cues. You should have killed the Nasus, I feel. Yeah. Um, but be very careful about always feeling the need to collapse on lanes rather than look for an objective. The Herald was fine, but I don't think you needed to go to the mid lane before of it. Before it. Because essentially, think about it, you went mid, you got a kill, respawned, took the blue, took the herald. You could have accomplished the same thing without dying, or without having to go back to base. It's like 45 seconds, you weren't on the map. And they give the Zin time to catch up. So that's something to think about. Okay, here we go for the collapse. Uh, you put yourself in a bit of a shoehorn situation. Yeah. Again, let's look at their vision, okay? Um, they, they have one there. They have a control wood here, they have a control wood here. They have very good vision. So unfortunately, this is not a good game. Yeah, this is, I should have definitely gone sweeper. Um. Was machst du, Kaiser? What? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Dude, she popped off for like a second. She dodged and then she... <laughs> she Wait, almost got out. She almost got out. Okay, okay. <laughs> We'll give, give her a little, little bit of this, okay? We'll give her a little bit of this. She 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 tried, she tried. She, uh, she tried. She tried. I, I started she being nice to her at this point because like there is something. That, that I mean, I mean, look. Is... Sorry to cut you off there, but look at this, right? Yeah. What's this? Your blood crank is arriving. You're on. You're on Krugs, okay? There's no minion wave, so there's no way they take it in this moment. So the concept of taking the Krugs is great. Oh wow, that was a really anemic bubble. Um. <laughs> But imagine if you were hovering. Yeah, that was you have ult. Imagine if you were hovering. You you ditched. You ditched. I think taking the Krugs is fine. But imagine if you were hovering. <laughs> I'm just gone. I've I've left the this world. Is, this this is an E smite R dead Israel. Yeah. Um, and then you have. 3v1 on the Rumble now. Whether you kill him or not, I don't think you do. But it's more the principle that you're like, okay, bye. Ciao, see ya. It's fine. I'm just more interested in your in your mindset here. Are you tilted? I am a bit, a bit tilted, okay. and I'm sort of thinking about like I'm 
this this is a, a game a rare one actually where i'm like consciously tilted so i'm trying to repair my own mantle as i'm playing because oftentimes like i'm like like if i hard carry a game i'm fine if i start losing i'm tilted rarely am i like aware of the fact that i'm tilted yeah well right here even if you don't take this what all I'm looking at from your perspective is I'm two levels up. Now for Rexa, you spoke earlier about Rexa's timing. Essentially, you have to assume Rexa is on a clock. And this is someone in my Discord, uh, she, she explained it to me this way. She said, basically, Rexa is on a timer. Every kill you get, every bit of snowball-y uh, event that you have, dragons, heralds, gold influxes, uh, kills assists, extends your, your timer. You are 7-2-2. Mm -hmm. Your timer now is significantly further in the game than most Rexa's. A Rexa that's behind at 15 minutes, like 0-3-2, dead on the water. She's nothing. However, you're 7 2, two. And, I might add, hello, Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank goes for total hero plays. Flash, hook, knock him down. Zoe says, GG. Immediately. Blitzcrank's really gaming. Immediately. What am I thinking? What do you think I'm thinking right now? Immediately. Untilted. You should, like, turn turn in, go in on Ezreal. Maybe take out the... No, I'm a dragon. Oh, a dragon. Okay. I'm yeah. a dragon. And that doesn't make sense actually, because there's um there's only one thingy, the crab. So you can easily take dragon. You're just like in the back of the pit, yeah. And you're you're rex size, so you're easily gonna go on, you know, as the late game goes um, from eleven to eighteen, you're going. you're and you have three points in E now. So the CDR on your tunnel re-entry is, is is also going down. Okay, you know? Okay. Like right now, but you go Raptors. Zin is off the map. You have thirty seconds to do something. Ezreal is chunked and nothing. Zoe is still here poking the wave. They just had a huge event bottom lane. He is not looking for dragon. This should be halfway done already. Yeah, they want tower more than they want dragon. Well, they want to back off. Yeah, well, they want to back off. They, they can't afford to fight over dragon because Ezreal's so low. Yeah. And now Zyra comes, and it should be gone already. She <gasps> wards it because I... she assumes you're on it. Oh, no, I don't. She yeah, assumes yeah, you're yeah. on it, yeah. So, yeah. ready here now is Rek'Sai, remember. Your early game. So, you're, you, you need... What's the best way to simply take control and, and close a game? Dragon's all. Dragon's all mm -hmm. win condition. You need to have such a lead that you have. You're 7-2-2, two, two, that's brilliant. But you need to have Dragon Soul win con on the map. If it isn't on the map, and you're losing in your lanes like you are, <laughs> what, I can tell you this, I don't know. You, you need a very heavy, hardcore Rek'Sai mechanical game to, to, to win that, you know? Um, yeah. That's why I'm driving home this dragon soul you want to win it's it's all about dragons and the threat of the dragons because now imagine if you had two dragons snuck away right as we watch the 3v1 i don't think that kills him he's just gonna kill you oh damasian just oh wait void of justice and peaches okay right three people good again but look at this look at this look at this this is the the beauty of the the non-macro in gold and platinum the guy's just shoving. It requires three of you, and they go, okay. They should get dragon for free now. Yep. They should take that. Yep. And what, what are you doing? You're Grump, right? Just what should you be doing? Taking dragon. At this point, no. when I'm at this point of the map, I should be pathing up to Herald while they're taking dragon. There you go. But I should have already been taking the dragon. Uh, you should, like, you I, shouldn't, should. I shouldn't even be here in this side of the map, really. At oh, all. no, the dragon should be done, and then you should have reset uh, and then done the yeah. same play. Because okay, uh, okay. you could easily have, you could have done dragon, taken the red reset, gone to top lane, had the same play, and mm -hmm. now now you forced the action to be here, and this is when they become lopsided, because currently whenever you do a play on the map, there's always something for them to do on the opposite side. The mm -hmm. goal is Rexai is to make sure that that isn't the case. Yeah. Okay. But even now, as they're on the dragon after um after Nasus is uh dead, okay, you you should be clicking on the map here. You can see the damage taken. You should be on the Herald right now. Even if you did exactly as you did. Right now, I see them on the Dragon, I say, oh, second Herald, yes. I, I will take that, thank you. I want I want some of the tower stonks. Yeah? <laughs> now, you go into it afterwards, but it's the jungle principle, outermost objective first, kite back in. Your camps will still be there. The Herald might not be there, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. of course, as I said, you are sitting prime in their vision, because you have not walked over- No one's walked over these bushes in 20 minutes. The game isn't even 20 minutes long, and they've been there longer than that. Um, you just showed. You just showed, on their vision. And, do you get out? You get out. Okay, good. Good. 
Good. Now, right, you took it. Rumble and NASA's rotated. Imagine. Okay, let's reverse field. There we go. Nasus is freshly dead. Rumble is sitting in a mid lane. Imagine if you went and took this right now instead of Grump. There's literally no threat to you. You could have taken the crab. You could have cleaned up the vision, fallen back, taken your blue, Grump wolves, and then gone to reset. No pressure. No pressure. No fight. Right? Yeah. Outermost objective. Work back. Okay, they're on the dragon. What's the outermost thing I can take? Herald. Okay, what's the next thing? Scuttle. What's the next thing? My blue and Grump. Because... As you get towards your nexus, you're, you're going to be safer and safer and safer. But because you took your own stuff first and then went in, you actually, I'm going to see what you actually uh, lost here. Are you lucky you got it? Just, huh? They almost, they almost collapsed on you. you. You give up the crab, which you shouldn't have had to. And now you have to back out uh, of your I, I still jungle. get the crab, but only because they're bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, you got lucky then. Yeah, yeah, okay, lucky. yeah you got lucky. Yeah, good point. Calculated. No, no calculated. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> Got him, boy. Um, but if you had done that and fallen back in, the Nasus, I don't think, comes into this area. I think you have a freebie of your blue side. There's no reason for them. Once you take the Herald, you clean out the vision, they're not going to come face check. Um, mm. So you should be easily able to get your blue Grump Wolves and, re and then reset. Um, which is exactly what's happened, except instead of having all of what I said, you almost lost the Crab, you almost lost your life, and you didn't get the Wolves. The importance of that is gold. Gold, right? Here we go, yeah, we see already see, yep, right? this is it. Okay. Don't, just take it. <laughs> just take it. <laughs> Do not risk her life, because she has shown herself to be unreliable. She already has six kills. Just take it. Don't don't let her die to some kind of Zyra cheese. I'm a Zyra main. Yeah. You, you, if you don't kill me, I will kill the person that you try to give the kill to. I love it when they do that. Like, hey, ADC, take Zyra. And I'm like, okay, I'll just kill you then. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, a little greedy on the E for the Ezreal, but you get him. You know, good rotation by the Rumble. I don't fault you necessarily. Just, uh, it's more... I should have been aware, really. You should have been aware of it, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because the Rumble's just going to roam. That's what Rumble does. Yeah. Okay, but so far you're holding out okay uh, because of the way you're playing. You know, despite all the things we've been talking about, you've still had good kills. You've had good fights. You've forced good action. You have gotten both Heralds. That's nothing to be scoffed at. Um, so I think, I mean, on that side, it's good. It's just with Rex, if you want to carry and go platinum, you need to take everything. Yeah. You need to really take everything. Because at this point, you just got two outers. Okay, so you see three top lane. Really, with Rex, you can shove. Okay. So we're looking to shove, we're looking to shove. Okay, a whole bunch of people top lane. Maybe we want to herald this. There we go. Okay, Rumble shows up. We didn't think about that. You didn't think about that, did you? No. No. But, again, look at this. I just saw, yeah. I, 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 What's this? What? what? Why? I don't even... What's wrong with you people? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Supports! Why Why is this you? <laughs> what, what are you accomplishing, oh. Mr. Blitzcrank? Supports I was in gold and platinum. I see this all the time uh, with coaching. What are you doing? <laughs> I really wanted a great mid for the tower, though. And I yeah, just yeah, yeah, yeah. But, again, you see, this is the concept of vision control. Uh, mm -hmm. Your vision mm -hmm. score is 12 and 20 minutes. That's a little mm -hmm. low, and you have a, control, a lot of control wards, but you're not destroying vision. Um, mm -hmm. So they can see everything you're doing. Now, in this case, I um, I'm well. thinking, where is where is the rumble? Where is the rumble? He's been collapsing on me the whole game, so perhaps we have a different school of thought. We, we shove up the mid lane, right? We shove up this wave, yes? Quickly, 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 quickly. We look at the top lane. We see Nasus is dead, and there's two people. Okay? Zinn is going to be rotating up. This guy is down here. There's a, there's a school of thought that says, let me rotate and help you. But at the same time, you know, I'm of the I'm in agreement with you that you, I don't think you win that fight. I don't think you win that fight. But I don't think I summon Herald. I think it's a little bit preemptive. Because you didn't have a wave with you. No. All right. yeah. Or did he, just, did he just melt the wave? Did he just alt the wave? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have a, He either altered a wave or I don't have a wave. But either no, he way, just, he it just was like... Yeah, he just... Oh, yeah, he melts... He, he melts it. He didn't alt it. Yeah. I, I didn't think about where he was going to be. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to take the tower, and that was yeah. like... I just got, like, tunneled. I tunneled into it, really. Yeah. Look at this. Again, you've walked over this ward quite a lot. 
Yeah, it's my favorite. It's my you, friend. You gotta, yeah, it's your friend. Okay, listen, you need to kill your friend. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> you need to destroy this friend. Uh, he's, he's, he's not a, it's, it's a toxic relationship. He's actually yeah, yeah. Uh, DMing behind your back what you tell him. Oh, so you need to make what a sure. Dick. All right. Uh, oh, no. take, take out that wood. Yeah. But that's that's the idea of a scanner. I mean, you're missing out by denying the vision. You you're mm. basically your reasoning for not using a scanner is the same as the Zins, and it's paying off for him, but it's not paying off for you. Yeah. You understand? Okay, so I think a little bit of discipline in the Herald. Um, I'm not saying I don't always use it in the moment. I'm guilty of that as well. Okay, now you're typing too much. Yeah. That was, this, don't type, this, don't type. I'm actually typing like, I mean, I shouldn't be typing, but I am typing encouraging things for once. Okay, just, yeah. Okay, so, so you collapsed on the dragon, that's good. But again, so this this is what I'm talking about. Now imagine, imagine this is you, and you guys have two dragons, and their team gets ready for this. Look at this vision control you are not denying without a scanner, without control woods. Look at this. They know exactly where you're not, and by extension where you are. And here again, you're ganking angles. You're never, you're never taking a wide angle scan approach because you don't have a scanner. They're seeing this movement and giving them a lot of time to react to you throughout, mm. throughout different phases of the game. Okay, let's see. Three people again for the Nasus. Again, no consideration for the Rumble. We flash, keep the, okay. Okay. I understand why, but. <laughs> I understand why, but no. I don't think I go for this. I just tell your team to back up because you don't have anyone else with you. So this is an engaged thing. If you're gonna be a team supporter, if you're gonna be a tank, someone who engages a lot um, to help your team in these situations, you cannot force engages when your team isn't there. It's your responsibility. You are the, the, the herder of sheep. You're four sheep, and you decided to go to battle with two of them. Okay. You left two in the fields. Yeah. You come home, and you got two sheep with you. Two are lost in the field. This one's still grazing, and this one's doing circles because it likes the rain. You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that works well because it's Garen. But, you, yeah. you, you know, there's no consent. Look at this. You're still sitting on a control ward. Um... There's no consideration of where is the enemy. Like, look at this. Okay, so so Kaiser puts this right. You hmm. see the rumble. Yeah. You see him, and you know that the Ezreal was mid. Well, you know that someone's going to be dealing with the mid wave. Let's see. They, you know he's mid. You have all the information you need to not fight this. As soon as darkness, this is literally what I talked about in the video tonight. As soon as darkness falls, avoid it. What can I do instead? Well, dragon spawning. You know. Uh, these two are definitely coming down. These are you know, she's doing Disney things. He's does this fidget spinner. Like you're not gonna get anything from them in this moment because then neither of them have TP. They're not in position whatsoever. Instead, you're like, no, Alpha Rexai. Let's go. Except now, it's, it should be pretty obvious that this river is 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 a river of danger. Yeah, don't step on the water. Don't drink the water. As it were. Here they come. So I think. You got really fed, and you made some good decisions. Uh, the biggest things are that you missed two dragons that you should have had. And your engages, you got lucky up here. You remember this one? Where you're chasing mm. around this area, and then you, you thought the Kaiser was with you, and then she wasn't? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got lucky. Um, like but again, th the principle there was better because you had your whole team with you. And even though you died, it was a good sacrifice, you know? You will go into the afterlife at peace because your team cleaned up and got shutdowns. It was yeah. a good engage. If the Kaiser was there, even better. She left because she's clueless, but it's, that, that's okay, right? You have to assume your team won't always make the right play. But this, for me, I think is what... Would you agree that this is what seals the nail in the game? I think this seals the nail. The nail. Looking at the timeline, right yeah, there... Yeah, I mean, from this point on, I just make the same mistakes over and over and over now again. You're, because... Now you're it exactly. But what yeah. I'm saying is, this game was still equal until mm. that moment. But okay. you should have had the two dragons... And the threat of getting the third will force actions that you want in your favor. It will force them to become desperate. Yeah. But you saw the Ezreal mid, you saw the rumble here, you should know not to go for this. You should just ping it. And then while you're waiting for your team to rotate, don't sit in your thumbs. Take a, take a camp, take another camp. This hasn't spawned yet, now your team's with you. Okay, what do we do? Right? Um, mm. I think if you are getting this fed in a lot of games because of the... Uh, I think because of these moments where you re you react well and get a kill, 
you collapse in low HP targets, you get a kill. Um, you clean up ganks. All of this is really good stuff. And you have some good... Okay, so we don't need to camp sequence as much with Rek'Sai. We need to be active. I just think if you look at those sneaky dragon moments and those herald moments, and then be very disciplined about when and, and such you engage, I think you're looking at easily a lot more Rek'Sai wins. Because you're, you're, the fact that you get fed like this, and from what I can see from your history, is decently often, right? Yeah, I do, yeah, yeah. My, yeah, yeah, you're right. But... Yeah, you do. But here now, we're just, we're just in the throws. Literally, like, you're gonna be slowly... Essentially, your clock is now run out. You you had, like, one more minute to... to, to on your on your Rek'Sai timer, and it was making a good fight and getting that dragon, which should have been your third, right? Which would have given you the macro pressure needed to get Baron and Sol. Um, but instead, you wanted the Nasus. You know? Hmm. Does it make sense so that the tunnel vision on trying to kill the split pusher rather than thinking a bit, a bit more bigger picture? Yeah. But I mean, I'm there's a lot of, of good things. Hmm? Like, yeah, I, I need yeah. to just be eating everything. I, it reminds me of this one video you did. I think, I think it was on like it was a early game jungler video where you talked about like the influence and you had like a diagram and I'm not a mini map. Yeah, yeah. My influence wasn't anywhere. It was like in in blotches where I need to be influencing like the entire map. I think maybe. Yes, 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 yes. The invasion, like enhancing the the the, the sphere of influence, exactly. <laughs> um, but you can't do that without vision. And look at this. You're, you're wandering. They see you. This is the worst thing for you as a jungler. They know where you are. This is all into their hands. Yeah. I think like the biggest thing for me is that your early reaction to the invade was brilliant. Uh, you, that ward you left was excellent. It should have given you a ton of tracking information. Which, by extension, would have given uh, me a dragon, uh, pinged out my bottom lane so they didn't die, and it was, would have also given me a herald. Just from that one ward you placed. So it's, yeah. it's the information that's given to you. You can possibly take 100 things out of 100. You took, you took 40. You see? Okay. And okay. you gave back some um, by making those, like when you died to rumble, when you didn't kill the Nasus. But that's, these, for me, are small things. Huh? It's easy to fix auto-attack Q. To get the kill on the Nasus. It's easy to fix. Oh, Nat Zin went back to base. I'll take the dragon, right? Yes. These are these are easy things to put into your mind. But there's a lot of good things. Like I you you play at a level that's much better than a lot of low gold Rex has, huh? And like you saw from the Zin, who is quintessential low gold. You I mean you were two levels ahead of him. Yeah. Which is which is I mean take be positive about that. So I don't think you have yeah. any reason to tilt as much as you're tilting. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I, I, the issue with my mental is that like I know, and I, I, I don't know whether it's cocky or not, but I, I, I know that I'm better than I mm. am, but I'm just not consistent, and I make yeah. so like I make m more significant mistakes and than plays that, that I make. Yep, if that makes sense. So yeah, 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 I understand you. I understand you. But I, I think this has really cleared it up, and I should hopefully. I, I, I would. I mean, yeah, it's, it's all, it's all for me. Is, it's here. I mean, your early game assessment was decent. For me, it's just this. You saw the Zin go down, you ping this to your bottom lane, uh, you reset, you know, if they don't listen to you, for me, it's just a case of what can I take while he's dead or off the map, you know? Probe. You could even invade his raptors, I mean, they're up. I mean, I don't know if I no, know you're nowhere near the raptors. You, there's, no need, there's no need for you to be here. It's just cue this. No, but... Is he on it? No? Okay, thank you. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That ward was brilliant. That ward gave you so much from it. As, a, yeah. as someone who plays Rek'Sai, that ward is just like a total gold. That gold that ward could have given you was exponentially insane. It was one of the best investments possible. And then, mm -hmm. of course, please, for the love of all things jungling, buy a, buy a sweeper. <laughs> okay, okay. It, I think the 40% analogy really makes sense as well. And hit, yes, exactly. And hit this, hit this plant, deny the vision. Use your sweeper anywhere else, deny the vision. They're in your jungle, sweep it, put control wards, deny the vision. Take it away, because as soon as you take it away, now you can start dictating terms. But if you're in constant vision of the enemy because you just refuse to sweep it... <laughs> but I mean, hopefully that helps. I mean, there were some good things. Good reactive pathing, good herald control, I like that a lot. Yeah, I think you're on the right track. Just this kind of stuff, I think, yeah. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Because this in inherently sees your dead and goes for the tower dive, so... Um, that's this all part of, it's all part of the same extension, right? All plays have a reverberation in the game. No matter what anyone would like to tell you, but it's mostly felt because of jungling. Like a jungler versus a jungler matchup is a lot felt because of the jungler. Yeah.
But um, hopefully, hopefully that clears it up. You can always let yes, me know in DMs if you're having issues, and uh, let me know if it goes well. Of course, I will. Do. We do um, like that, yeah. Yeah, no, this is really good. Thank you. Yeah, thank, no, thank you. Uh, no. Hope it was helpful. No, no, I enjoyed, it was. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed doing it. So, uh, best of luck in the next games. And I think um, I see the platinum within you. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> Go get it. Hopefully, one day you'll see the diamond in me too. Uh, yeah, we'll, exactly. <laughs> maybe next year. Exactly. <laughs> hey, just one step at a time. Focus on that platinum, and then you know, shift. But I see here Rex, I grave so you're, you're playing the right meta champions for it. All right, okay. All right. Thank good you job. Time. I'll, I'll, I'll do it now. All right. All right have cool. a good day. Thank you.